Hello and welcome to another episode of Living in a Minivan and One Last Time with the Slow Cooker. This episode is brought to you by Foresty Forest, Living in a Minivan since September 2018. Uh, this time around I'm going to try to do some slow cooker deep dish pizza, but uh, tonight I'm going to get a head start on that. I'm going to make up the pizza dough first, then tomorrow morning I'll head to the trailhead and uh, take it the rest of the way and get it cooking while I go out and do some hiking. But yeah, let's get that uh, pizza dough going first. Season salt. It's gonna have to do. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> This road is way beyond what I should be driving in this minivan. I've been scraping bottom for the past few kilometers. There's some deep water up there. It didn't look safe to drive through, so I found a little pull-off here to park the van. I'm a bit further away from the trailhead than I want, but this is the best I can do. I'm, su I'm surprised they made it this far. But I'm probably going to put the, the chains on for the way out. I'm going to get started on this pizza now. I'm a bit behind schedule, so i got to move along quick. This is what I'm going to do for uh, toppings. i got some pepperoni, green olives, mushrooms, garlic, onions, cheese, and uh, some crushed tomatoes. That'll make up the sauce. Uh, my dough is looking really good. I'm going to try to get it out of this pot now and into the slow cooker. Trying to get this in. This is not going to be very fun. Hey, some cornmeal. I'm going to saute the mushrooms, garlic, and onions. And once that softens up, I'll put a put a few spoonfuls of this uh, crushed tomato in with it. I got way too much of that. I'm going to have to figure out my next recipe. But uh, the pepperoni and green olives, I'll throw that in right away. I just stretched the crust up a bit higher. Hopefully it'll contain all the sauce when I pour it in. As far as I can tell, it's ready to go. I've never done something like this before, so I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. Am I going to get a soggy mess or a nice crispy deep dish pizza? It says to put some paper towels over it to help absorb some of the extra moisture, and it takes four hours to cook on low. I think I'm going to be away for seven hours, so I got this timer. I'll program this uh, so that the pizza is just finishing up when I come back. It's a nice clear sunny day, but it's really windy and kind of cold. I'm almost getting two amps out of my solar right now, but uh, I'm going to switch that off because I'm sure it's going to drop below freezing in here when I'm away, and I don't want to destroy my lithium battery. I got my timer set, so I think I'm all ready to go now, so it's time to hit the trail. It's unbelievable that people can actually drive out here. If I brought the minivan here, <laughs> it'd be stuck for life. A permanent off-the-grid cabin. But there's where I'm headed, up uh, Black Rock Mountain. So 
So at the summit of this mountain, there's an old fire lookout that was built in the 1920s. I couldn't tell you if it's still standing or not. There might be four walls and a roof, but I might have to look around to find each piece. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of worried about the wind. If it's too crazy, that'll be the end of this hike. But it's about uh, 1230 now. The pizza will click on at 130 and be done at 530. <laughs> Looks like the wind is really fierce up there. I'm going to dry out in the sun before I go up there and freeze my butt off. I didn't bother taking any video on the way down, that wind was nuts, but the climb itself was easy enough, uh, the route was obvious, there's nothing too dangerous about it, but it was pretty cool to see that old lookout, and the view was really good too, but uh, it's about 3 o'clock now, it gives me 2.5 hours to get back to the van for that pizza, so I think I'm in good shape. I actually made it back early. The pizza needs another half hour, so uh, I'm going to get those tire chains on now. Then once I get that done, it'll be pizza time. That was, uh, yeah, it was a 30,000 step day. 35.37. My legs are saying that's, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> And I also got the intake and exhaust system finished off on my diesel heater. Let's take a quick look at that. And after that, the pizza should be ready. But uh, I got it wrapped up now, so it should be transferring some heat onto the intake. And there's a good distance in between the outlets, so it should be safe. And I also got a, a new muffler, so it's really quiet. Um, I measured the, at the vent. It was 118 degrees Celsius. It's hard to say if it's running more efficiently, but uh, that is really hot. I could probably cook some food on that. And also, a lot of people have been asking me what kind of clothing and gear do I bring with me while I hike. So let's go over that for about 15 minutes. <laughs> I think you guys want to see the pizza, so let's, let's take a look at that instead. So can you make deep dish pizza in a slow cooker? Let's find out. <laughs> yes, it appears that you can. The bottom is a little bit soft. 
but uh, it's looking good and it smells really good. I'm gonna cut it up and uh, give it a taste test. This is crazy. I mean, if I had a fire, then I could probably put it over it for a few minutes just to firm up the bottom. Oh, that's amazing. It could just be my slow cooker that the, the heat on the bottom isn't the same as the sides. I am 100% going to eat the whole thing. I know I say it every time, but I think this is the best meal I've ever had in a minivan. Those ribs, though. Those ribs are so good. <laughs> so maybe next time I try this, I'll uh, throw it on high heat for the last hour. And maybe that'll crisp up the bottom of the crust. It could just be my slow cooker. I'm not too sure. But uh, that's just how it goes. Every time you do this, you learn something. And uh, the next time it turns out even better. Well, I'm completely exhausted. I think that's going to be the end of this video. But wait till you see where I parked for the night. I'll show you in the morning. It's it's pretty crazy. But uh, I'm going to go to bed now. So thanks for watching. And thanks to Patreon supporters. And I'll see you in the next video.